Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, thanks for sticking with us when we've not been posting for a while but we've had other things on so we've been working on a, a property that we rent out that's now gone up for sale so we've been committed to doing that for the last few weeks so hence there aren't been any vlogs been done. The hatches. The hatches. Should we get the hatches done today? I think we should do since it's a nice day we can have the hatches open yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do this then. Template. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, so if we put if we make a template for that bit, yeah. making sure we go over that. So there's no lip. exposed bit of metal. Yeah. Yeah. So we use it on the edge. Down. Yeah. And just do it so it's just fraction inside that so it's not snagging on there. Yeah. All the yeah. way around. And these are the vents for the outside if we want to make a, a vent on the inside. Yeah, rather than having the metal. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Rather than having the metal metal grills will make a yeah. make a part of the liner. Yeah. So yeah. you probably saw, or if you haven't, how we done this. We've we've actually done a wooden frame and insulated on the inside Sorry. of that wooden frame so there's a wooden frame going all the way around and we're going to attach um the good piece of wood on and top of that so you won't see any of this yeah bit. you'll just see the blue coil around right so there. it will sit in yeah. sit in this bit rather than being inset into the door yeah going up to the edge of the door there's different okay. ways of doing it in there really but yeah it's just gonna see way. if this way works <laughs> <laughs> Stick with us. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with us. It might you, be going in the bin. You might be just plying one on the top of it. Here we go. Template time. <laughs> That's one side done. That's one side done. They're available at Wix. <laughs> Not yeah. sponsored. <laughs> well, it... Yeah, so <clears throat> that's going to be like that. Yeah. Obviously, this isn't going to be a square cutout. It's going to be something a bit. <laughs> it might end up being a square cutout with a grill on it, but at the moment it's not. Yeah. It's going to be uh, louvers cut into the panel that goes on here. But it won't be louvers, will it? Not louvers, sorry, but it'll be, I don't know what they are then. Slots. Slots. Yeah. Yeah. Slots cut out instead of a, a grill going on the top. We might have to edit this bit a yeah. bit, just in case there ain't no slots, in case it is a big square. In case it is a big square with a, a grill on the top. <laughs> oh, at you the know moment, we've done wrong. Yeah, at the moment it's going to be slots. Yeah. But yeah, depending on how the how the routing goes and stuff, innit? Yeah. We'll give it a go. Yeah. So this is the drawing of the air vent outside and the spacing of each of the gaps. Um, but that'd be too many if we are cutting this out of wood. So we're gonna like miss a gap, have a gap, miss a gap, have a gap. But we've offset them as well, haven't we? And we've offset them so they don't don't correspond with the grill on the outside, so that. If anybody lays on the towpath and looks through the grill, well, they can't see her with no clothes on. <laughs> yeah, a big queue of people oh, laying on the grass. Massive, massive. <laughs> Our subscriptions will go through the roof. <laughs> but that's where they're going to go anyway, fit into that space. For this job we're using Sapili, um, which is a hardwood. And we've had this milled up at a local uh, timber yard to an approximate size and but these are going to line the hatches aren't they yeah um but they're quite wide boards and the and the there's a possibility that because they're so wide 
there's a possibility that they might cut and warp a bit so we're going to have a go at doing them in, in a, as in one yeah try and keep them wide to yeah. start with but if it doesn't look like it's going to succeed that way there's another option we've got to do anyway we've got a plan b we've got a plan b but these have been sat in the boat for about four weeks or so just to acclimatize to the atmosphere that they're going to be in in the boat so we've given the best chance i think to mm. to and they're not too bad you can no. see see a slight slight, um, slight yeah uh, curve. Warping and curving them but um we'll give it a go and if not plan b would have to slice it up yeah but should we try we'll, we'll do plan a first <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and then we'll go to plan what's b plan c plan c a bit of plywood yeah yeah plywood <laughs> yeah okay let's get going so we've just transferred where we want them to be the slots to be cut and just put them put marks on the wood So the frame clamps down. Holds that in place. Yeah, so the, the it's being used as a clamp as well as um, the jig. And so everything's held in place, so it's really sturdy. So the easiest way we thought of doing this was to make some spacers. So uh, each spacer would be put in to do each cut. Yeah, it's not it. Yeah, the groove, yeah. the slot. So it'll yeah. give the same distance apart from each one, um, and we're just gonna start to go through slowly, aren't we? Yeah, not too <laughs> deep. Just just do it bit by bit on each bit. Yeah. yeah. So the first thing that we've got to do is um, mark where the holes are gonna be because you're gonna drill the holes first. Yeah. Um, for the router to sit into yeah all these distances yeah equal every time you add a block in it it keeps extending it up that way doesn't it from the back yeah the first obviously the first one's there then it gets larger take that one out put that one in yeah but they needed a little bit of adjustment to get them exactly where they need to were. be so instead of like making some new ones the adjustment just needed um Space spacers putting in and on one of them just needed a thicker spacer so it all works out right on the test piece yes so the first one is that one and that's yeah. yellow okie doke here it goes Nothing ventured, nothing gained, is it? So all we're going to do with this is we're going to just just leave that sl just slightly below this base, so that I can just Mark. put a little mark in there, a little mark in that side, all the way down on there, and then we can put we're going to drill a hole through. It'll all come clear anyway when we start doing it, won't it? The reasons why we're doing stuff. Mm. So, might as well just start it. Okay. I've left my mask. Oh no, there's my mask. You've got to put yours on.
one down. Once all the grooves were cut, um, Ada's going over with a round nose route a bit, just to give an edging on on the each uh, cut out, so it doesn't look so just, square. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one. That's the one. Right. Uh, that's one bit done. So that's the heart shaper one. Yeah. But the router, can we get the router? No. In that corner? I think you'll get that, you'll get that point. Because yeah. that's like in inside cut. Whether that be an outside cut, it's only going to... It won't do a pointy cut there, it'll do yeah. a, a rounded end on the heart there rather than a point, yeah. sharp edge. But if I wanted to do a point, we'd have to try and chisel that away to a point. Right. But it might, it'd be quite difficult to carry that edge accurately, won't it, without you, see, you seeing that you've done that. Right. Rather okay. than it being a flowing move all the way around. Can we try this then and see if you, I like yeah. it with a round? We'll do it with a round and then if we don't like it with a round we'll have to think about yeah. how we make it to a point. Because we're going to do a diamond as well and if the diamond can't do a point either that might look nice rounded. Rounded edges rounded. on that, yeah. yeah well yeah, let yeah. me see what, Let's, see what it looks like and then... We can always cut it out, we can always cut more out and not add add any back once you've done it. Can't right. So if we, if we cut it round there and we don't like it like that then we can figure out how we do that yeah but let's just cut it out yeah like that for now but that's the shape i want and i don't want it to look too structured like, too too like it's been cut with a cnc cutter or on a computer yeah or, or like laser yeah, cut I'm, yeah i want it to look like it's um organic like a, <laughs> yeah. no like a french French, <laughs> a French uh, barn sh shutters. Oh yeah, G. door shutters. <laughs> yeah, on a G. So something like that. So yeah. I want, I don't want it to look a bit. R not rusty. Well, hand. Yeah, freehand, if you like. Yeah. Is that the word. Yeah. Yeah. Is that all right? I think that looks better. Yeah. Go on then. Yeah. So we've got a now. We want it to. We want the that. We want that tip there to be central to those louver cutouts don't we yeah that lock louver cutout those grill cutouts so there. what about if we maybe a diamond on as well so if we just get stick with it kids something like that oh yeah i'm good with that very nice. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. What about the dis you work at that? Uh I think just by look, I think probably about there. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, okay then we'll eye we'll do it by eye then, yeah. Yeah. So if we draw the centre line. No, cent centre of those. It's centre of those. 
and then measure from that to there, isn't it? Because that's the that's the inside bit. That's the hinge side. That's the inside the yeah. join. Yeah. So let's measure across there then. Never know, we might need that. <laughs> Do some filling in. Probably Nanny will, yeah. <laughs> what, from my mistakes? Or filling in your mistakes? No, because you keep all the wood. I do. Like a crack in your heart. Yeah. I quite like that round bit at the moment. That bit? I never looked at that actually. Yeah, I do. Yeah, softens it a bit that Yeah, yeah, it stops making it look so far. We'll see what it's like with the diamond. Okay. Yeah. Next. Next. It's all right though. Yeah, that is perfect. Yeah, I don't know if it's Let's post that out, don't we? Mm. Looks like we're resorting to plan B then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it started to curve. Yeah. Um, it's really it's wood, like isn't cupping. It? It's wood, it's going to curve, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. And then probably next season it'd be curving the other way so we've yeah. made a decision plan b is we're going to cut, cut, cut it all up pieces <laughs> cut the side bits cut across um and make it so we can it will slide and move yeah yeah what do they call Hopefully. that they call it like a bread bread, bread bin bread. <laughs> i think i think she means <laughs> bread board bread bin <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was something to do with bread. bread. <laughs>
So we've cut it all up. Now we're going to stick it all back we'll together again. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. Oh, there, <laughs> uh, so we're we're using um, biscuits uh, joints. The biscuit tin. Yeah. Um, to join it and glue, and then laying it flat and clamping it up. Um, so these are the pieces that like obviously run from side to side so they'll they'll expand from side to side yeah. not really up and down yeah so clamping it up but we've also got to lay something on the top and uh, screw it down because uh, the clamping was pulling it up into a, a V shape so uh, on this next one you'll see that we actually start clamping it down on top So once they were dry, we could then do the the rails that go across. Yes. What are they called on a door? I don't know. I've forgotten what they are. I'll pull it in the description in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we've only glued one side, and that that bit is going to be the area that we actually screw to the main hatch. Yeah, yeah it stays rigid. Um, but everything else should be able to slide along we've made the the biscuits holes yeah a bit bigger yeah so it can all slide Give along. That bit of movement to it yeah. yeah when it's actually attached to the door you'll see what our thinking is and why we're we're doing it um the doors are different in the bedroom the ones at the back of the bed are um slightly different look to the ones at the side hatch yeah. um only because we're sort of experimenting really with these doors, ready to do the ones in the dinette. So again, on the, the bottom half of the doors, um, still just gluing that one side. Um, this is a different door. This is the opposite side of the door. So that's why it looks like we're gluing on the wrong side. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, on both on on all the doors, it's just one side that's all glued from the top to the bottom, and so everything else will move along, and we we'll allow for that um, movement when it's on the hatch. So you can see now that the the middle rail and the top and the bottom rails will be securely attached to the hatch itself, um, but the the piece in the middle the the um what are they called the vent yeah and the heart bit will be able to expand and move across and that's because the grain is going that way yeah. for the screws to go in and to be able to plug them afterwards. Your greasy fingerprints. Mm. Someone complained this week about how awful music we put on our videos mm -hmm. but we have to put music on to disguise the music that we're actually listening to while we're working and this week's choice is... We would get into trouble with copyright if we play, let the music yeah. uh, carry on playing in the background. But we like our choice of music, and um, I'm sorry if you don't like yeah, it. Yeah, it's easy to own, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah.
once they're all dried we can get them all tidied up and tidy up the edges round off all the edges i don't want to see any um sharp edges or edges, neat edges yeah, yeah. i want it to all look a little bit rustic so uh just spending ages just trying to roll over them edges the hearts are going to be filled with um shells and they're called abalone and these ones are called power, power shells nanny and granddad got these from new zealand power shells power shells abalone inside them they're like a big slug how did you rate one of them slugs nanny i did I didn't like it very much. Wait, what did it taste like? A car tyre. Was it like when you drink it out? No, not like an oyster. It was cooked and put in an omelette. Nanny's going to make it in, break into pieces and send it. Put them all together. And put them in the door. So before I could do that, um, I just gave the that insert bit uh, a coat of primer and I used the bin primer and then the lilac that's on the back wall and this will just sort of like be hid behind the shells and just give a background to them. Before the shells go in though, I've just made a crude sort of jig really. <laughs> Basic jig. Yeah, <laughs> thrown together um, to make the little recessed holes for the screws to go in. Which and are? We're using what are these screws called? The like panhead. 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 Yeah. Pan yeah. And these are going to go obviously up the other way, but they're going to be able to slide. And we're doing a little ridge around the edge. For, for this yeah and this is going to be our cover it'll sit on that little edge it'll all become clear <laughs> something else we've just made up <laughs> yeah we just made it all up as we went along just another idea one of nanny's ideas <laughs> got the blade pointing that way so it wants to be about there. Yeah. And going this way to about there. Yeah. Yeah. I'll hold that then. Yeah, we're doing some sort of uh, <coughs> <Balance adventure. tonight. laughs> adventurous ideas with the clubs. Hmm. <laughs> Diesel. Health and safety gone mad, isn't it? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's about right there, I think, H. Yeah, put your router square on. I can't really can't see this light. <laughs> Yeah, and just to add, we can't see. Oh. Do you want my glasses? I don't know whether that's too, going to cut too far close that way, H. Let me have a look. Too far what way? Towards the edge of the door. No, that's all right. That looks all right to me. Sure. Yeah, because you've done the pencil a little bit further up. This is only the ridge, isn't it? Yeah. I ain't going to match that one, though, if I do it All there. right, then. Let's move it down, then. Fussy granddad. Fussy yeah, granddad. Yeah, well, I'm going to look at it for the rest of my life.
Yeah. And we'll just put some little shims around the edge to then make the inner square rectangle a little bit smaller. Watch your eye on that clump, Brenda. <laughs> Time to uh, cut smash up the up. smash up the shelves. <laughs> yeah, smash up my pride and joy that I brought back from New Zealand. Um, yeah, we're just cutting them into small pieces. To start with, I've done it like this with uh, sanding them back, and I'm using the inside of the shell only because the outside of the shell is a pain in the bum to um, clean up and. I like the colours on the inside for this project. So this one I've just put some uh, resin on it just to see how shiny it would be without them being sanded up and I do like the colours so that's what I'm going for. So I'm just going to break break up small bits and rather than have them all flat I want to try and get some that are domed upwards like concaved and convex. So there's uh, different shades as the sun hits them pieces of uh, shell. That bit's really nice, that nice blue. And then we've got like the purple bits as well. And I even like the bits that are damaged or the, the black spots and the brown spots as well. So I've added some of those in as well. Make sure if you do any of this though, you wear a mask. That stuff that comes out of these shells is uh, lethal, really. But once they're all broken up and I've cleaned them up a little bit, um, I also gave them a little bit of rub over with um, with vegetable oil, and that sort of like brought the shine up and cleaned them quite well without too much hassle, really. Yeah. Um, and then once they were all cleaned up, I could then put them in the hearts. I'm using uh, Gorilla Glue to stick them down, um, mainly because it's a strong glue but it also dries clear. I'm going to put a layer of epoxy resin over the top, um, just a cheap one that I got from uh, Amazon, I think, yes. or off the internet anyway. And it's a craft one, so it's clear and it shouldn't yellow, um, hopefully. So we'll see how that goes.
once I'd let it settle a little bit, I uh, went over with a heat gun just to burst any bubbles that had been made. So they've started going hard now and they need uh, 24 hours to fully cure. So we'll leave the video there this week and uh, join us next week when we get them all the doors cleaned up and attached onto the hatches. See you next week. Bye.